Catch our radio show too on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock at 94.3, and you can get it on your uh, computer though. If you if you can't get the radio station, you can get it on the computer. Uh, anyway, uh, Mark's here, and he's going to ask me some questions. Hopefully, are the things you're interested in, and this is for our what group is this? YouTube subscribers. Our YouTube group, but uh, this is uh, these are people who signed up for our. Um, they're subscribers. They're subscribers to scoliosis. That's what it is. Okay. Subscribers to the scoliosis uh, book. Uh, or uh, book or what? what Video. You, Video. No, uh, blog. Community. What? Community. All right, community. So now, this is so. where you can... Uh, we're going to try to answer your questions in person uh, that you uh, write in with or call in with. Uh, and... Uh, uh, hopefully, uh, uh, we'll get get your answers for you. The what we're presenting is uh, unique to us. We did the research on scoliosis, and we know what causes it and uh, what to do about it. And we do it, and uh, we uh, eliminate scoliosis on a daily basis on a person. So if you, if you come in and we do an analysis. Um, by the time the week is over with, you'll lose half of it, half of, half of your curvature. This means between the shoulder blades or lower back, you'll be taller, straighter, no pain. And I really mean that. So um, try it. You should try it. Just come in. You stay at a hotel. Go, go to the beach. Have a great steak dinner somewhere. Or go to Francesca's Italian. <laughs> and uh, and, um, and uh, have a good time and get treated also. And uh, it is really worth it. It works just this way. I wouldn't promise you unless it was true, and it is true. You have uh, any questions, Mark? I, I have a few questions. Uh, in, in an earlier conversation, you had mentioned treating scoliosis incrementally. Yes. And I wondered, what did you mean by incrementally? Well, because you have to uh, prioritize where, what you're going to treat. Now, you treat the worst first and the less worst later. Uh, so uh, that's how we look at it. We analyze where the worst curvature is and then we uh, treat that and it comes apart and you treat the next one. Oh, okay. Uh, is this, there... is, this is scar tissue by the way, I forgot to say. This is scar tissue that we're actually treating. Scar tissue is holding the bones askew, curvature or off to the side like that. And uh, once you know that, then you can find it and you can treat it directly. You can treat it with ultrasound for younger people or by a steroid shot for older people. These are not spinal things. These are like, in, like the nerves, like an epidural. This is the ligament structure that's holding the bones in that position. And so once you inject the scar tissue, it softens and the turn takes place. It is absolutely amazing. And you can see it, and we show it to you on the fluoroscope, which is, uh, which is current uh, x-ray. So we take a picture here, it comes on the screen, you look at it, we can take the next one a couple of minutes later, you see it on the screen, compare the two, and you'll see the turn take place in two minutes. Also, I want you to look forward to the 27 steps. <laughs> this is really interesting. By the time we get off the treatment table, Mark, 
It's 27 steps to where I make my note. And in that 27 step person You're is losing your pain and you're losing your curvature that quick. 27 steps. I counted them. <laughs> That's remarkable. <laughs> Doctor, this is Delray, Florida. I see you get responses from all over the world. Is there anyone else, is there anywhere else uh, people can go for this treatment? Uh, no, I did the research on it and it's very hard to get published. And uh, in, in fact, even in Delray, the doctors are not, uh, they're not knocking my door down to try to find out how I do it. So it's very hard, unless you're in a, in a university setting, uh, uh, to get anything done like that. But uh, I think it should try it out because um, knowing what I know, knowing what we're producing, uh, you're going to have, a, have an improvement. There's no way you can not have an improvement. It's worth, the, it's worth the investment, it's worth the time. A lot of times I hear you say that the patient will get uh, as good as they want. Yes. What do you mean by that? Well, if you have a curvature like this and uh, you take one treatment, you're not going to do, do any good. But if you really want to get straight, you might invest in a week, another week, another week after that, and, and it's incrementally improved, improved. Very small amount every time. And uh, by the time three weeks goes by, you're straighter. I mean, you can't believe this stuff. This is really good. Straighter and pain-free. Pain-free, absolutely. We do the pain first. Now, it's not cookie cutter. You treat every patient differently? No, every patient is different. Uh, so uh, when people ask me, what do I do? I said, well, I don't know what I do. I mean, it depends on what you show. Uh, this is a real doctor's office. I mean, this is no, no playtime. Based on what? It's six weeks. Yeah. What? Physics, weights, bearing, and engineering make mention that. <laughs> I can cut it out, so just say this is based on physics, weight, bearing, and engineering. It's, it's based on the anatomy and what causes the pain. You have to know that first. Then you have to know what happened to the anatomy to cause the pain. Then you have to reverse all that. It's a weight bearing issue, a physics problem, actually. Physics, weight bearing, yep. and anatomy. Right. Fascinating, doctor. Yeah. Now, people travel from great distances. What's the average stay? What's the average length of treatment? Well, we have one man from uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. Thanks. He spent uh, two weeks here at different times, and uh, he lost uh, more than half his curvature already. You had somebody. What's the furthest patient? Uh, Tennessee. Philippines. Oh, the Philippines, that's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Philippines. The Philippines, that's amazing. Yeah, that's that uh, man, uh, they were uh, going to travel to uh, Disney World, so <laughs> I don't know, why didn't he stop in California? I mean, <laughs> I mean you know, anyway, they ended up here to go to Disney World and they came in here and uh, we treated that man and uh, he had a lot of trouble and we took care of everything. Scoliosis and other pain. Yeah, they had. He's on your website, treatingyourcause.com. Ah, treating, treatingyourcause.com, treatingyourcause.com, treatingyourcause.com. Did you write that down? What's the last one? Maybe about? talk about insurance. I know. We, uh, we really want you to do this, and it is really good. And uh, we're working on uh, getting a, uh, uh, an ability to uh, take care of some of the costs for you. Uh, a nonprofit organization we're going to try to do to uh, make it easier to uh, come in here and I have my real estate agent here who's going to get us a building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we're joking around, but this is a real thing. I mean, I want you to know that. This is the real thing. Talk to that was fascinating. But there's a, there's a, I listed on there, talk about the girl that came from, there's a girl, you know, Probably I have to put on my glasses. There's a girl that you treated when you were in California. Tell me, I took a trip, you know, or uh, yeah, Arizona. Well, we I took a trip that. to Arizona. Yeah, the yeah, uh, uh, people that want to listen to the the work that we do. Um, when I was in uh, Arizona for uh, a couple of weeks, why uh, people called me up? They wanted to um, be treated for scoliosis, and I said, "Well, uh, I'm in I'm in uh, Phoenix. Why don't you just drive over from Los Angeles?" Which they did. One was an actor uh, who couldn't act because his back hurt so bad. So we treated him. Uh, it took us uh, two treatments, I think. That's all it was. And he had this back pain for a long time. Uh, then uh, the 14-year-old little girl uh, had a curvature between the shoulder blades and lower back, and we treated her. It took us two weeks. 
and uh, she lost more than half her trouble. Uh, and I think she should come down here to finish it off. So that's what I meant about you get as good as you want to get. If you want to get absolutely straight, it takes a little more effort than not. But this is the kind of thing we do. When I was on vacation, the two people drove over from California. <laughs> family from Virginia. The Feds. What? The Feds. The family Feds. from Virginia? The Fed. Yeah. Oh, we had a family come in from, from well, a, a wife uh, from uh, Virginia. Uh, and uh, between the shoulder blades, and we took care of that. It was one week, and uh, her pain was gone. Pain and the curvature was gone. The gentleman that came in, he'd been suffering for 50 years, and uh, that was James, first name. James Hame. Yeah, and he's 65 years old. Don't yeah. Mm. yeah, he still uh, cuts trees down. As a matter of fact, he couldn't cut trees down. That's why he came here. He had all this pain. He couldn't get it treated <laughs> because of scoliosis. And uh, so we treated him uh, for the week and went back home and started cutting trees down again. He, he come back and, and, and told my assistant here, he says, Oh, I've been cutting trees down. I have no pain. <laughs> cutting trees down. <laughs> but he also said that before you, you treated him, when he cut a tree down, it would take four days to recover. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's minutes. Yeah, he couldn't recover from the uh, pain. I mean, it, it was that, that severe. So we uh, not only do you uh, have a, a bad life with the scoliosis, but it, it can be returned to you. You just have to put the effort in. That's all. I, so pain is all about loss of mobility. And no movement, right? And no movement, I mean... <laughs> well, let's not get into the technical things. Uh, any pain is treatable if it's from the skeleton, and we can do anything. Uh, you just have to present yourself with the pain and say, I have this pain, and, we can, and we'll tell you what we can do about it. So really fancy stuff work here. I mean, you, you can't believe it. Uh, tingling in the feet, we treat that from the back. And uh, we developed uh, certain uh, uh, approaches, uh, certain techniques that go at the anatomy in, in a proper way and uh, treat it. Uh, it's very, uh, very deep uh, what, we, what we do. You have a patent on your x-ray machine. And uh, we had a, uh, a use, this usage patent on the x-ray. And um, it is a standard. Uh, and most people don't use it. They use an MRI. But you have to remember the MRI uh, is not done for you. It's done for everybody the same. Well, when you take our x-ray, we're doing it just for you. And it's interpreted just for you. And uh, you see it just for you. But in an MRI, you can't do that. And the radiologist is not trained in musculoskeletal uh, pain. We are. So that uh, when you have a pain, we know where it's from. But they don't. So you go in and you'll never even see the doctor for an MRI. See, it's overblown, overdrawn. Not, not as good as what we do. MRI is not based on weight bearing either. It's the, a huge thing. It's all, done, down. it's all done the same way for everybody. Yeah. So uh, MRI should be decreased and not improved like that. Uh, well, this is for the subscribers to our blog, and uh, I hope you get some information out of that. Um, trust is a big thing, and I'm asking you to trust. If you can do that, you're going to benefit. Everything you heard is true. We. Uh, we promise and we will deliver on everything we say. Smile. We're <laughs> going? Yeah, just try to have a good time. Come in and uh, remember these are all ligaments causing the problem. And they're not uh, heredity or nothing like that. They're all due to trauma, falls, and uh, they're all ligaments. So you're not born with scoliosis. You're not born with it. It's yeah. not in your DNA. It's, it just happens from a fall or injury. And we can treat it because we know where the scar tissue is. So, okay, goodbye. It's <laughs> <laughs> about vertigo ring. Yeah. Well, doctor, My the, the, um, the range of, um, uh, of conditions, maladies that you treat, mm -hmm. can you talk about that for a minute? Uh, yeah, well, you're interested in one. Are friends of yours have tinnitus, tinnitus, or uh, tinnitus? Migraines. Migraines. Migraines, yeah. Vertigo. Okay. Vertigo. Uh, ringing in the ears is a big thing. Almost everybody has that as you get older, and they're trying to blame it on uh, the eighth nerve, which is the acoustic nerve, but it has nothing to do with that, and has nothing to do with crystals either. It has to do, everybody that has uh, ringing in the ears or vertigo, where they can't uh, sit still, they're going to fall. Um, I had a professor 
who was walking along and he had to hold on to a light pole. And people thought he was a drunk. <laughs> but this is what it does to you. And um, uh, anyway, all of these are caused by one joint about this big, big as my thumb, uh, and it's at the base of the head, right there. Now that's, uh, that, that's vertigo. That's vertigo, tinnitus, tinnitus, and rigging. And, and that'll get rid of the, the all, same, the all same treatment them, for yeah. tinnitus and vertigo. All three of them, yeah, it's, a, it's the one joint. And uh, there's a problem with it because there's two of them. There's two of these, and you, which one is causing what? So what we, we've uh, learned a lot and um, uh, we've adjusted for it. Uh, also, the amount of medication you put in, maybe that's not enough. So uh, there are problems with the approach, but you have to, if you're a physician, you can work it out. Um, so that's what we do. We have virtually 100% cure rate. I mean, how do we know that? Because people come back and tell me that. Tell them about the, the, the car dealership guy who was going to blow his brains out. He, he got it from motocross at 55 miles an hour face first and water yeah. foot back skiing. Everybody that has this problem will have a bad uh, rear collision or a motorcycle accident where you're going through the windshield and your head's going back. Uh, and you're traumatizing not the head. Uh, just like in the NFL, you don't traumatize the head or the brain, it's the neck. Uh, that's the only movable part there is. Can you see that, Mark? It's the only movable part there is. That's what gets hurt, not the brain. So the, there is no such thing as... Um, <laughs> as trauma to the brain, which is... Concussion? Uh, concussions. There's no such thing as a concussion. I mean, uh, if you follow that, they're all waiting for brain changes to take place. So they want to see you in six months. It's a lot of baloney. Their neurologists do actually don't treat this. There's nothing to treat there. So we treat that, and it is the base of the head, COC1. I'll tell everybody, do it. Fascinating. Because I worked this out, I did the research on it. It is true. It's 100% cure rate. How, how can you say that? You know? Everything you do is guaranteed. Too. Yeah, guaranteed is guaranteed. Who, what medical doctor guarantees this? <laughs> Another thing that I find fascinating is that you treat autism. Yes. And do you want to tell us about that? Well, I think autism comes from uh, uh, the birth, uh, people pulling on the neck and um, uh, as you get born. And it uh, traumatizes the, the neck muscles and ligaments so that as you get older, by the time you're one and a half years old, you can't uh, calculate properly because you have a headache. And it's like an adult with a headache. And, Anybody who's an adult has a headache, you know what I'm talking about. These kids have headache and no one knows about it because they can't say it. They don't have the language to tell the parents or the doctor that, oh, I got a headache. They can't do it. So you have to be able to examine for it and know it's there and then treat it. And I, I will treat any, any kid with autism if, the, if they bring him in here. And, uh, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to take, take that uh, symptom out. That's just great, doctor. So, the great. autism is a thinking process. If you're an infant and you have a headache, you can't tell anybody. By the time you, you can speak, by the time you can speak, all you've known all your well, life. Well, they've already put you in the private school. They put you in public you, school with a, with the autism program, and you're lost. You, You'll you, never come out of you, that. You wouldn't know that you have a headache because you'd think that that's just the normal condition of life. It's just everyone. like going to prison. You get lost in there. I mean, you know, it's just, and I, I can't believe this stuff goes on. Because why? There's a lot of money available, that's why. And the physical therapists are making a fortune on this because they're treating the neck. And I'd say, what are you treating? You don't even know what you're treating. Treat something, but they're not doing the job. So, uh, I, I'm uh, absolutely sure what I'm telling you. Uh, try it, try it, try it. Yeah. Thank you very much, Doctor. Right, Mark, thank you. Can you exercise away scar tissue? Yes. You can. You can exercise it away after you're treated. Yeah. Well, very rarely, though. First of all, you have to know where the scar tissue is, <laughs> and you know that's very difficult. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right.
is what you get, as in change.